Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna talk about this the LS550 WHE short throw projector from ViewSonic it's designed to work the best for business and education use and in this video I will cover the unboxing the hardware the image quality brightness software features and more so let's find out how good is the LS550 WHE. Just a quick disclaimer, ViewSonic sent over this unit to review and share my honest opinion and they didn't pay me in any way to make this video. So let's take a look at the box contents. It includes the device itself, a remote control that takes two AAA batteries and the power cord. Now let's take a look at the device itself. On the top side, you get all the controls you might need that are also accessible using the remote control and the focus wheel. On the front, we have the IR receiver, adjustable leg if you're gonna use it on a flat surface, the lens itself and it got its own cover which is attached to the unit. All the ports are on the back side. You get a LAN port, RS-232, a USB type A with an output of 5 volts to amperes, HDMI in port, audio out and audio in. On the sides there are some air vents and I can see the fan in this area and on the other side there are even more and there is also a built-in speaker. At the bottom there are three legs and all of them got rubber pads and also all the mounting holes that you might need. Now let's put it into action. The LS550 WHE is a lamp-free short throw projector built with advanced third generation LED technology with an output of 3000 lumens. So you can easily use it in the morning with the curtains open, which is something I'm going to talk about later in detail. ViewSonic claims a lifespan of 30,000 hours, which is the double compared to the lamp-based projectors that average between 10 to 15K. It has a 0.49 short throw lens that provides 100 inch screen from just 1.06 meter away. This is a great benefit if you are going to use it in a small room. To give you an example, here I have it attached to a wall mount. The lens is about 59 centimeters away from the wall and I'm getting a screen size of 55 inches, which is nice. But keep in mind the LS550 WHE is designed to work at a maximum distance of one meter to get the expected results. So if you are planning to place the projector meters away from the screen, you should consider a long throw lens instead. So in this case, I recommend checking ViewSonic LS500W. It has the same specs, but with a long throw lens. Now let's take a look at the image quality. As I mentioned before, it's a third generation LED projector and the most important benefit you get from the LED technology is the color accuracy. It has a 125% coverage of Rec. 709 color gamut and from what I see it does have very accurate colors compared to other projectors I tested before. It has a full HD resolution which is not the highest in the market. But this model is mainly for business meetings and the classrooms. So you don't need the 4K resolution, however it delivers a good visual experience in media consumption too. So here is a couple of close-ups while projecting a video and a presentation. From what I see the image is clear and the text is sharp and readable. Now let's see how good it performs in different lighting conditions. The first scenario and the most important one is the morning usage. In this demonstration it's 1 pm in the afternoon, the sun is very bright as it's summer, I have a big window and the curtains are open. I don't have any problem seeing every single detail at 54% brightness and a screen size of 55 inches. So if you're gonna use it at 100 inches, you still have 46% more brightness, which will get you covered at the maximum size. In a dark room, it's definitely an easy task for this projector to perform really well. The brightness is high and the colors are so vibrant and accurate. This is also another example in ambient light. So overall, the 3000 lumens are certainly enough for every lighting condition. Now let's talk about the thermals. While playing videos at 54% brightness for about 20 minutes, the room temperature is at 27 degrees Celsius and the AC is turned on. The unit temperature was between 35 to 41 degrees Celsius. When it comes to the fan noise, I can certainly hear it if the room is dead silent, but it's not an issue in normal situations. And here's a quick demonstration of the fan noise. As per the sound meter, it produces 50 decibels when it's right next to the fan. Next, the sound. This projector has a built-in speaker of 2 watts. It's definitely not recommended if you want to get a decent audio quality, but it's a nice to have feature up until you get a proper sound system. But anyways, here's a quick sample from the speaker. Improvements, the most annoying bug I used to have in beta 3.1, all of a sudden the back gesture stopped working, but now after installing beta 3.2, seems like this issue is now fixed. Now let's talk about the convenient features. First, you get a keystroke adjustment in all directions, vertical and horizontal, which is nice. 
But what I like the most is the ability to adjust the angle of each corner separately and this will give you a lot of flexibility to get a perfectly aligned image. You get five different color presets based on the type of content you're playing and the two empty slots to set for your own convenience. In addition to adjusting the brightness, contrast, color temperature and other advanced color settings. It supports auto power on using the CEC technology, signal from the HDMI or direct power on. You can set the auto power off time, the sleep timer and activate the power saving mode. The ability to choose between four different projector positions to match your setup and lastly an echo mode that produces slightly less colors to increase the lens time span and decrease the maintenance cost. The only downside I see it doesn't support Bluetooth audio output so your only option to connect external speakers is by using a wire or to purchase a Bluetooth transmitter to be able to use it with wireless speakers. The last thing to talk about in the specs is the sealed projection engine. It simply means that the component responsible for projection is sealed which will prevent the dust from damaging the device and this is very important in Gulf countries and the others that have a lot of dust in the air. Now it's time for the price but unfortunately the device is relatively new and the price is not yet revealed by ViewSonic and I couldn't find this model on Amazon too. However, you can send a sales inquiry through the product page that I'm going to leave its link in the description below. So here's my final conclusion. I've been using this product for two weeks and I would say it delivers exactly what it's made for. But there are three things that I liked the most. The first one is the brightness. The 3000 lumens were good enough in every lighting condition and this is something you should consider when you purchase any projector. Secondly, the color accuracy coming out of the LED technology is great. And lastly, the ability to adjust the angle of each corner separately is a very convenient feature. And if you're going to purchase it for business, there are two features that will minimize the maintenance cost. First, the sealed projection engine that will protect the device lens from any dust. In addition to the 30,000 hours lifespan, which is a lot more than the lamp based projectors. Other than this, all other features are just normal. There is nothing overwhelming. So I would say if the price of this product is going to be reasonable compared to the competition, it's definitely a recommended purchase. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my review for the ViewSonic LS550 WHE. So please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.